How's it going all the amazing people? Tom Surex here and in today's video I want to answer a very simple but very requested question. Which lens to buy first? But to simplify things, I'll have a two scenarios in this video. One is if you don't have a kit lens, which lens you should buy first? And then if you already have a camera like this Sony a6000 for example uh, and if it comes with the kit lens what should be your first lens all right I think we can finally start the video let's go all right let's start with the first scenario imagine the situation you have bought the camera you don't have a kit lens it just comes like this uh, what should you do well you need an all-around purpose lens for example for sony a6000 the 16 to 50 millimeter lens i made a video about it just i have a link it up here you can check it out and and see for yourself how it performs but if it comes with a camera fine use it if you don't have it don't buy it i think it's worth of saving a little bit money and getting a very proper all-around lens so if you're uh, someone who's shooting on APS-C uh, cameras like Sony a6000, 6400 and so on I would be recommending something like Sigma 18 to 50 millimeter f2.8 I also made a video about it check it out uh, or you know another option is and a very good lens is a Tamron 17 to 70 millimeters f2.8 both of these lenses have f2.8 so that means you will get plenty of um, bokeh in the background they will be not be perfect in a low light situation but they will be good enough so this will be a sort of a very good beginner's lens that can last you a really long time and you can do so much with uh, these two lenses so that's that's what i would be recommending you if you have a full frame camera then most likely it comes with the 28 to 70 um, sony's lens but if it doesn't then you have also a couple of options uh, on the budget side that is Sigma 28 to 70 millimeters or the Tamron 28 to 70 millimeters, 75 millimeters, f2.8, both of these lenses. If you bought a camera with the kit lens, I would recommend this guy. It is the Sony 50 millimeter f1.8 FE which means the full frame version of it. Why I recommend it? Well, there are a couple of reasons. First of all, it is extremely cheap. It is costing $248 and I found that you can also get a used one for like $150. For full frame camera users, this is the absolute cheapest lens you can get. Another good reason is because the 50 millimeter focal length is sort of very popular and it's, you know, not on any of the extremes. If you would go with like a 16 or 25 millimeter, uh, prime lens then that would be something very wide uh, but if you would go to something like 85 or or 130 millimeter lens then it's very zoomed in and I think for a beginner that is not the best lens to get so having something like this is definitely a good option to start with another amazing reason for this lens is because it is it fits both the full frame and the APS-C cameras. On a full frame, the 50 millimeters remains the 50 millimeters uh, focal length, but on the APS-C cameras, this is gonna be 85 millimeters. So with this prime lens, you are actually able to uh, capture the images that are very sharp. The object is very sharp, but the background is super nice and blurry. And that for you as a beginner makes you feel like you are, you know, achieving something that you've thought you could never do. So um, another reason is because this lens is out of focus. Yes, you can buy a cheaper lenses for $60, $70 new, uh, but they will be manual focus lenses. And I never recommend for beginners to buy a manual focus lens because it's just a struggle for you to um, start understanding photography and worry about focusing. So definitely if you're looking for alternatives, make sure that it, it has out of focus. And one last thing, it's very small and light and it's very popular lens. That means you can easily find it used. You can use it on uh, APS-C and the full frame cameras, which is really, really great because if you have something like Sony a6000 and down the line you want to upgrade to full frame, you can still use this lens and no problems with that. And just so you know, 
this full frame version of 50 millimeter lenses is not the only one there's also uh, the one with optical steady stabilization it's a bit more expensive and it fits only for APS-C cameras there's also the Sigma 56 millimeter f1.4 and there's also uh, Viltrox 56 millimeter f1.4 that I made a video about it I will link it up uh, here or in the description but in the near future I will be also making a, a video where I'm going to be comparing all of these 50 millimeter lenses so make, su make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell uh, to get the notifications um, in the near future and if you already bought one of these lenses or any other first lens let me know down in the comments which one was it and why and of course I will see you all very soon in the next video keep on creating Thank you.